Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video we are going to see the reflection of waves and we will see how the phase changes when reflection takes place from a fixed end and when reflection takes place from a free end. Now uh, suppose uh, this is a string and this string is fixed at both ends. Okay. Now suppose there is a formation of transverse wave in this string. Okay. Now suppose this is a transverse wave, okay. Now a sinusoidal wave. Now if we consider this to be one wave uh, starting from this point, ending at this point, such that this is lambda, the wavelength. Then if this is in terms of angle, if this is a sine curve, this is 0, this is pi and this is twice pi, this is pi. So that means the phase difference between this part and this part. This is 0, this is pi. So phase difference between this part and this part, it is pi. Okay. So if we have a pulse like this and a pulse like this, so if I take this part, move this part to this side, this part to this side. So these two pulses, now if uh, they are traveling in opposite direction, okay. Now these two pulses have a phase difference of pi, okay. So now if they are identical and they superimposes, then the resultant displacement will be zero. Now this concept will be used for uh, studying the reflection of waves from a rigid support. Now suppose you have a string fixed at both ends, okay. Now this end is fixed, this end is also fixed. So now the fixed end, what can be the displacement? The displacement, it, it has to be zero, it cannot move because it is fixed. So if a wave pulse, it is traveling in this direction. Okay, so at this point, the resultant displacement, it has to be zero. So that means at this point on reflection, the phase has to change, phase of this wave has to change by pi okay so that that means this pulse it will be converted like this because these two have a phase difference of pi okay now in mathematical language i can write this as displacement of the incident wave if i ref, re, write it like yi it, it is equal to a sine kx minus omega t so uh, here we can see that uh, the incident wave it is pr uh, propagating along positive x-axis because it is kx minus omega t. Okay. Now on reflection from this uh, fixed end or the rigid end, a phase change of pi is introduced. It means yr it is equal to a sine kx minus omega t plus plus pi. So this phase change is introduced because of reflection from this rigid end. Okay. So now this a sine pi plus theta is minus sine theta. So this can be written as yr it is equal to minus a sine kx minus omega t. Now as you can see if you add these two yi plus yr incident plus reflected. So it is 0. So it shows that the displacement at this particular position is 0. Okay. So when reflection takes place from a fixed end a phase change of pi is introduced okay now similarly if reflection takes place from free end okay if this is not a rigid end if it is a free end then there is no phase change okay so in that case reflection reflected wave the displacement of the reflected wave can be written as yr it is equal to a sine kx minus omega t plus 0 so there is no phase change so it is yr it is equal to a sine kx minus omega t okay this is when the reflection takes place from uh, free end okay now uh, this is with regard to mechanical wave okay but uh, please note down that uh, if this is also the property exhibited by even by light wave okay now when light undergoes uh, reflection this is the additional information okay for waves uh, class 11 this is not there but i am providing you this additional information with regard to waves uh, property of light okay this is there in your class 12 syllabus that if light reflection takes place 
from denser medium the phase changes by pi as in the case of mechanical wave if the wave is getting reflected from a rigid end there is a phase change of pi similarly uh, for mechanical wave when the reflection takes place from free end there is no phase change so for light if the reflection takes place from a rarer medium there is no phase change okay now for wave uh, mechanical wave you may think okay this case you have a wall so you have a fixed uh, rigid support and the reflection is taking place from rigid end but what is the meaning of reflection taking place from uh, free end okay now for reflection for free end it means like suppose uh, this is a thick wire connected to a thin wire okay or suppose this is a thick thread and this is a thin thread okay so at this end see to the right of this end you have a thin thread okay so this end will be behave like a free end if the vibrations we are studying the vibrations on this string okay because to this to the right of this you have a thin string okay but for this particular string if you are studying the vibration on this string then this end will behave like a fixed end okay so normally it is uh, like this will be of more uh, uh, length and this will be of smaller length usual uh, problems so in that case this end will behave like if, I, if you are studying the vibrations on this particular string so this end will behave like a free end so if it is vibrating so th at this particular position you will have maximum displacement and this particular position you will have minimum displacement this is with regard to reflection okay the reflection taking place from rarer medium reflection taking place from denser medium or uh, in case of mechanical wave reflection taking place from uh, fixed end reflection taking place from free end okay now there is one more phenomenon that is transmission now in transmission with regard to mechanical waves we say transmission with regard to light wave we say when light travels from one medium to another medium we say it uh, refraction so whether it is transmission of mechanical waves or whether it is refraction of uh, light wave there is never any phase change phase change is zero so for transmission there is no phase change okay for reflection denser medium phase changes by pi for reflection rarer medium the phase change is zero and i hope this video is beneficial to you and it is uh, helpful for clearing out your concepts my best wishes to you for your academic endeavor good luck